Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Seconds of Goku as the Emperor. Let's continue on from where we last left off. The 182 political power, what do we want with you? I mean, we're going to go Caps of Industry. I mean, they're not super good. What about make the mining expert? How much, how much, um... How much do we actually, we, okay, we actually don't extract anything. Okay, so you know what, let's get the Captain of Industry. He's not super good, just because, I mean... I would love if you could build us military weapons, but... Okay, so Soviets have helped the Republican Party. So right now it's 30 against 20. The Republicans have defected, so it's a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio now. The Republicans still have a little bit of a, of a power gain. But that very much could swing in favor of the uh, Nationalist. Because in, in the actual Spanish Civil War, Britain and France were mostly neutral. Like, they supported the Republicans, kind of. But never, I think, made any, like, um, overt actions to support them, if I'm remembering correctly. Because I'm a thousand guns. And you know what? That actually gives another 0.33 per day. So, absolutely. Your 0.33. The Shogun has surrendered not to Ensado. The Tokunaga Bakufu is declared war on the Tokunaga. So there is now a civil war. There's an officer's revolt. Okay, so it looks like the Holy Order was able to secure their independence, I guess? But now, the, so the Tokunaga lost, and now there's an officer's revolt in there as well. So the Tokunaga Shogunate is right now completely collapsing before our very eyes. Why is there a gap here? I don't know. But I'm happy with that. Shogun should be distracted by other wars. The Germans have back Sokoku. To no one's surprise, the Germans based in Yawatama. Side of the back, Achi Kaindo's claim over the Seto Islands. Although cloaked in soft words, the Germans are clearly trying to tip the scales in favor of their closest allies. Okay, world tension goes up by 1%. Any larger world tension been uh, formed by the Holy Order. I'm assuming there's a separate world tension in here. The world does not stand still while Japan struggles. Western powers will continue to play a part on the world stage. Each Western uh, nation must pay attention to its overall power, which can deploy to various theaters of operations outside of Japan, as well as, there's, uh, as well as the situation in Europe worsens. As it always does each couple of decades, it's possible to interact with theaters through uh, regular decisions that are available when a theater is active. When one side avails, its forces move automatically to the next possible theater, as indicated by those on the map. When fighting in an active theater, each side will cause damage to the other's deployed forces. Damage range from 5% to 20% of the total deployed strength. Researching doctrines will improve the effectiveness of forces deployed in all theaters. Each level of land and naval doctrine boosts a country's damage output by 10%, depending on if the country theater is land or navy based. And each level of air doctrine increases it by 5% in all cases. When a capital is captured, its owner is forced to surrender. In this case, the territories in Japan must choose either to surrender or continue to fight without the help from home. This also includes reduction in foreign resources available. Okay, so here's our power. Germany right now is the most powerful nation. The Soviet Union and the United States are both not aligned. China, the Dutch, Portugal, Britain, and France are all in the League of Nations. Okay. So apparently, world tension went up by 1%. I don't know where that's actually listed in here. No government access to play. We know subjects. Okay. Well, again, I, I like that mechanic. I like the idea. I'm hoping it actually, again, works properly. But if it doesn't, again, it's, it's not a huge deal. 10% penalty. You're a specialist. Vision attack, infantry. I mean, it's either 5% for infantry or just 5% for everything. So I'm going to go 5% for everything. Seems to be maybe a little bit better. But maybe I'm just a fool in that uh, assumption. Do we have any more? I mean, we have more units we can train for sure. Let's give me, give me, um, 15 Imperial Guards. We're going to send most of them probably to the border with the military junta. And probably send some units to kind of worry about the unitary state. But for now, I'm not too worried about them. Okay, there's max planning. The North seems to be in a little bit of a stalemate for the time being. And I think the Officer Revolt will eventually get crushed by Tokunagawa, but hopefully without them. Not before they uh, take some heavy casualties here. Got a civil war, 2,000 against 13,000, 1 to 304. So, I mean, the casualties are not very high at the moment, but 
I'm assuming at some point that will change. Also, right now it's 36. Yeah, let's keep getting, let's get some 37 industry techs. Typically, I think those are usually pretty good to get. Also, once again, we have no manpower. And I don't think we can get any more manpower, at least at the moment. Ability plus 10%, 5% 10, more defense, more war support as well. One civilian factory. Let's go with four military factories as well. With 150 political power, now 242. A little bit more economic recoveries on its way. I mean, it's, it's actually fairly close for the Republicans and the, uh, and the fascists here. Press censorship we don't care about. All of you lose a stability. 10% factory. You know what? I mean, our, I mean, our stability is at 89%. Let's just do a generic press censorship. I mean, but we're already at 60%. So it's probably not necessary. Okay, so let's just worry about what stuff we got in here. I mean, we could go free trade. Honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards it because we don't have that much natural resources ourselves. Asian of Terror, non-core manpower was 2%. There's Garrison's minus 10%. Just an extra operative. Yeah, just give me an extra operative, honestly. And then I want to build a basic cryptology department as well. Okay, so you just got to maintain your... Stuff way up in the north. We have an extra military factory. Honestly, I want more guns for a moment. If we can get our way up to our unit cap, I would be very happy to see it. Okay, Republican infighting. Means that their strength is going to go down by 1% as well. I think the Spanish Civil War, I think it ended in 38th, I want to say. So, we got a few years probably until the war is actually over, over. Brew machine tools. And the Korean new emperor. Hey, Emperor Song Young, Korea has died of illness and old age. He Yun has taken over as Emperor uh, Jae Yun. No matter the leader of the country, it is unclear if the Joseon Empire will survive, but the Soviets looking at them like hungry bears. He will need a stick uh, uh do the stick job of collaborating with the dubious general Kim Il sung yeah, I'm sure that'll go well for him. I I I'm sure everything there will be a-okay, hunky dory. We got a new emperor on the throne. We got a new department. Of course, we want to break your ciphers first. 960 days. Okay, let's get a little bit of uh, bonuses here. Because it's, you know, 960 days. It, it's a little while. Industry research speed. You know what? I will get that going. Unfortunately, this does use a lot of kind of generic... Uh... I'm going to send you against the military government. Does use some of the generic focuses, which is, you know, understandable. But then again, it's a lot of work to put in uh, unique companies for every single country. But just the generic vanilla companies in Hoi 4 are so ass. They are so, so, so bad. Okay, Peter Arsenal is almost done, so this will be another four beautiful factories for us. How many factories do we have? We have 13. Actually, I'm going to put you down to three, and then we're going to put military factories in here afterwards. Your designer. I mean, again, it, it is just a research speed bonus, which is still okay. Like, it's not bad. 2.5% recruit population? Absolutely. Spiritual mobilization, we'll get that going now. I think we want to start producing some... Yeah, let's go basic light tanks. We, have, we don't have a main armament. Okay. I mean, understandable. Put some armor. Put some engines on that. And I mean, do we have any module slots here? Actually, ammunition. One of you is usually pretty good. Defense and breakthrough to soft attack defense. Armor plus 20%. I mean, reliability is always nice. You know what? We'll save this up. We'll put five factories on that. Let's even get some tanks going. Because tanks are cool and fun. And it'll probably be nice to have. Uh, we'll get some more aluminum. We'll get that from... We'll get one from the United States. And we're going to get one more steel from the... Yeah, one more factory worth of steel from the British. I mean, we're still going to have a few penalties, but... 
For right now, I'm okay with it because you're using steel. You don't have steel. I want close air support more than I want fighter, so put that up higher. And you know what? Close air or support equipment, we're going to put that at the very bottom of the list. So they're not going to get all the aluminum they want, but... I'm kind of I'm kind of okay with that. 9% against you now. I'm happy to see it. The austerity minus 5%. That means, that means our um, tumor good. 16%. Is really nice. Your naval doctrine bonuses, which again are kind of bad. We, if we do catch up the West, we could get ourselves another research slot. We also have research slots down here, so that's two extra research slots we can get. And you know, I'm gonna put you up to three total rows. Deploy our units out. Put them on the front lines. We can send more military advisor 50 points. And you're going to give us, what, 0.33 daily? I mean, that is... Pr I mean, it's pretty good, right? I mean, if we can do... I mean, I guess doing both at the same time doesn't actually make things go faster. Yeah, so, I mean, we're getting basically one every two days, which is... Very, very, very nice. And once we've got an extra thousand rifles in storage, I would like to send some more guns to the Spanish Civil War. I think it would be beneficial for us, for sure. Also, how are the supply hubs? You're not actually connected to anything. So, but let's just get our railroad from here. That's a, that's a land fort. I mean... Not really what I need right now. Just build it. This shouldn't even take long. It'll, it, yeah, it's gonna take done in like two days. And there we go, you're now actually connected. Very nice. Also, are you... I was gonna say, are you an actual sea zone you can navally invade through? But no. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking like, fewer findings pretty good. And I'm gonna go for the 36 light tank as well. Another 2%. Are you kidding? Okay, you know what? We got Devastation here, which is the Republic that have gone down by another point. Right now, it's 23 to 16. The the fascists are losing ever so slightly. But honestly, like, not by that much. Yeah, at least support for unaligned, resource gain efficiency. Experience cost, I mean, you're kind of ass, honestly. I mean, you might be good. Monthly support for Shintoism goes up. Yeah, sure. I, I I don't know how this really works. Right now we're at 44% out of 44%. It's going up by 0.5. So we'll... Uh, we'll see how it goes. I didn't actually know there was this many uh, Buddhists in, in Japan, but... I guess, I guess I don't know that much about religion in Japan to begin with. Artillery expert. No, but you're a specialist. Specialists, honestly, are not that good. I might still take you, to be honest, though. Actually, air combat, age generation, will take you. Got more factories. Honestly, I want you throwing those more into tanks. Oh, these other uh, assault companies. Enables the dozer blade and the flamethrower. Armored recon. Frontline medics. We got trains down here. Support companies. Four companies, except for Sparta Artillery Count, as half a battalion towards battalion limits. Okay. What do you need? You need... Field Hospital 1. Okay, reasonable. Dozer Blade, Flamethrower, Sappers. I mean, I mean, it could be good. Medium tank, heavy flame tank. You know what? Flame tanks are usually pretty cool. And unfortunately, in the base game, you really only start getting them in like 1940, 1941. Which honestly, it's like, it's kind of too late to effectively use them at all. Which is very sad. Very sad. Just 
Just because, like, Bo's the time by 1941 when you can really start getting him on the line. You probably already have beaten the game, so... We'll be able to sign you down to this front down towards the south. Available planes reserve. There's another 2%. Bonus World Industry is not bad. Bonus World's nuclear technology is not great. Joba Restoration. Let's do the student movement. No, 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 no. Give me the 5% stability and a little bit more recovery for the Great Depression. You know, again, our stability, 89%, is very good. But having it be more, let, let's say a theoretical 100%, I don't think would hurt anybody. I don't think anybody would be sad by that, uh, that possibility. Okay, so Civil War in Spain continues. Nobody has won quite yet. But again, they're still fairly even in supplies. I'm guessing what they're trying to do is get down to 0%. And whoever hits 0% first loses. Like, that would make sense. How long is Cryptology on this? 222 days? Give me more of those. Give me even better Cryptology, please and thank you. And I guess I'll get you guys ready to go for an invasion into the state of, uh, Tikoku. Oh, so how's Izo doing? It, it's still fairly stalemate-y. I, I don't know who's gonna win up there. Ship designer, tank designer, 150. Ship designer is just cheaper for some reason. Oh, but you actually have some modifiers here. Same actually with the aircraft as well. Don't think we want any of you... I think what we want is probably weapon designer. Also, I have international focus. I have to take it. Military expenditure is another 5% and also more war support. Our war support is a little bit lower, so this this will be okay for us. And we can deploy about 100 more battalions. Our infrastructure is increasing by 39%. Base is 300. Okay, so having more infrastructure is actually going to be important. Average infrastructure at 39%. We could... I mean, how much does infrastructure cost? Six thousand? Also, all of our supplies are actually just in the capital. You know, screw this. Why are you now capped at five? 10 military factories, 10 military factories. Construction here. That's anti-air. Oh no, because there's only five slots for infrastructure. Okay, fair enough. I can't do anything more than that. Um, I mean, we actually have a lot of 100%. I guess we'll build two of you, and then we'll, we'll continue on with the construction of civilian factories here. Should not have taken that off. My bad. We're spending a lot on special projects. This is for the machine-assisted decryption. It is very expensive. Capture Cypher means a two-person job. Which is a little bit expensive for us. Let's get the uh, 1918 support weapons. Let's send you guys a thousand guns so we can get a little bit more points on all of our stuff here. And I think for now, we, we kind of just, like, let it, let it sit. 114 days? More than, more than okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that, uh, result there. By the way, has anybody, uh, formed a faction yet? Okay, there's actually a nice little civil war going on in the south. So, the, the naval junta was, I guess, overthrown, and they're now a federal state. Which caused the Shimazu clan and the Nawashima clan to rise up against them. And also, they're at war with everybody in the south. I don't know why all of you decided to join a faction. That actually scares me a little bit. Are you all fascists? No. They are involved in Kyoshu. No, not content with their loss of power, the Shimazu and Ryojochi clans have risen up against their banners and declared war. In the speech, uh, Michechi Koka has stated that his act will be heavily punished. Well, I don't think they're going to win, unfortunately. I would like if they won. Can I intervene in this at all? I'm going to send them more military advisors. But can I intervene in any way, shape, or form? I mean, I guess I could send you volunteers, theoretically, but... 
3 to 10. I mean, the chance of you winning is quite slim. The nonpartisan administration of Koku has, has joined the federal state. So there's a. Are you a faction now? The Koshu League. Okay. You guys have all decided to make a faction. You've also made a faction. The Fourth International Way Up in the North. I mean, sure, you do you. So there's two factions now. But I mean, one of them, I mean, like the communists, they, they really shouldn't have any allies, I would say. All of the South Japan uniting against us, I, it's pretty bad. You know, I, I, I will say that. But I mean, we've got the backing of uh, France and Britain, potentially, right? You guys are okay supporting me in this in my time of need? Okay, we need to send you to go spy on the fascist over here. No reason to spy on the German consulate. I can't imagine it's going to make a big difference there. We'll also go for you, even though it's... I mean, it's October 37. It's actually a fine time to get that done. They so got the improved light tank. I'm going to assign you... Uh, I'm not going to give you the flamethrower. I give you the two-man turret. I'm going to give you a radio. Some armor and some good engines. Reliability 91%. I think that's actually completely okay. So we're going to replace you with our improved light tank. It's only a little bit more expensive, honestly. It's not that bad. And then we're also going to start producing the basic light tank. We're going to create a variant of you who's just going to have a flamethrower on you. Okay? And your job is to be... I cannot scroll this list. Which is uh, an issue. We're going to save you. Light tank mark one. We're going to take some factories off of this. Deploy you here. Can I, can I add them as flame company support? Your construction core and sappers. Sexy note. Delete you for a moment. Because I might not actually be able to scroll down and add in. Even though they have a flamethrower. Oh, there it is. Okay, now, now it's showing up. Okay, yeah. Save, save this. We don't have any of you. We're going to put three factories on you when we can. And eventually, I'm going to put some flame tanks into our... Uh, probably not our... I mean, we probably should actually make a, uh, shrink you down to two. I'm going to, cr I'm going to duplicate you. You're going to have the flame light tank. I don't know if I can really, I wish I had a more symbols here. Just so I know which one the flame tank is. Ah, nah, it doesn't really matter to save it. We got a copy of you now with flame tanks. Of course, we don't have the flame tanks. We're going to, we're going to set three of them for now. Because flame tanks are pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink orange line to be here. I'm going to assign you to a brand new army. And your job will be to cover this front on this side. And I guess you also need a commander. We'll, we'll assign our 2-1-2-2. Two, two, two. Oh, yeah, have more units as well. Yeah, assign all of you to the Shogun. I still think the Shogun's kind of our biggest threat. I mean, we have a pretty defendable line here, and then on this side, it's an island, so it's a straight crossing, which is never super nice to cross over. So we should be safe, I think. At least a little bit. Okay, there's fuel refining done. 39 techs is, I think, where I'm going to cross the line uh, for now. I think 13 will be good enough for you. And your job, basically, is just to uh, control this small area here. Well, our main force eventually just marches their way straight to, uh, straight into the Shogunate's territory when the war comes. Punisher Rebellion's army, the military junta. You declare war on the Takanawa. Well, we could do it like fairly early on, actually. War support plus ten percent. Question: Do I want to attack? I mean, you have no allies. And we do definitely just outnumber you. But actually, it might be a good idea just to invade them 
ASAP. I'm going to send you over to the uh, front over here, though. But I think for the time being, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed my thumbs up. Not to enjoy something down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.